World Congress! What are we going to do? Well, whatever it is we're going to do, we want to win it. What is the most likely city-states to have trade routes sent to it? Faith, because I know that there are more faith city-states than anything else. So I'm going to vote for religious and just hope that goes through. And we're going to ban whichever is at the bottom of the resource tree. Silver in this case. Now, people always say, oh, sir, you can get away with one vote here, one vote there. It's all fine. I'm just going to throw all of my favor in because I want the most chance that I'm going to win that one. No for silver. Does not provide it. Ah, they all went for B on that one. Normally they go A. Ah, fair enough. We got one point. One point is fine. One point is all we need. We also banned silver. We really didn't, <laughs> we didn't come out of that Congress very well. I would like it, Germany, if you remained my friend. No, they're going to dislike me because I'm getting all chummy with city states. I can understand that. Zanzibar, another city state. Excellent. I didn't have a look at the quest log. Harbors, encampments, mathematics, religion spreading, great writer, ab Trade route to a CAD. That's really easy to do. Ah, that's the easiest one out of all of them, I think. How long does my trader have on it? 39 turns. All right, scrap that. We'll have to make a new one. But actually, we're going to make a harbor. That would be fine. I don't know who this is. Who are you? I imagine it's orange. But look, these aren't for you. These are not for you. I can promise you that. They are for Taruga. Well, you've settled Munich there. You're not going to keep that city. Nope. Well, I got a bonus envoy with candy by just naturally spreading my religion to it. That's fun. And here is some faith to get a great general. It's very expensive. I probably could be doing a lot of other very good things, but I was thinking extra movement and five combat strength with men at arms. That will really, really help this liberation force because we can just nip around the side here, attack, liberate, and then just run in and do as much damage as we can. We're not going to keep any cities in this war, but it doesn't stop me from undertaking a little bit of, that's right, ladies and gentlemen, pillage. It's my favorite. It's your favorite. It's everyone's favorite. Oh, Candy's back. Candy's back, everyone. Yay. Why? Why? What, what happened? Oh, I think someone took a Marnie off. All right. Well, as soon as we go to war, we'll levy you. And there's actually a couple of mana arms here, which is really cool. Why are you stood here with trebuchets? Why does that fill me with such joy? <laughs> Hmm. Says, uh, awkwardly upgrading archers. Don't worry about that. Don't make me bring this liberation force down. That's all I'm saying. Because I will liberate all over you, Germany. Will not be pleasant for anyone. Lumber mills. More production. Mass production. It's the best sort of production, really. Uh-oh. I think my galley's in trouble. <laughs> I love it when you just send one galley out and suddenly it's like, Barbs will kill everything you've ever loved. And you just look at it and go, oh, okay. Hello, my name is Bob and I disagree and dislike everything you stand for. Now prepare to die. And he's look at it and go, oh, yep. Goodbye, sweet galley. Hello, sweet stave church. I was in Christiansund and now my holy site has plus five adjacency, which means it gets 10 production. That's a very big amount and we like it. One of the other reasons I prefer Hungary to Norway is these units are taking their sweet time to get anywhere. And by the time I arrive at Taruga, their strength has already gone from 20 to 35. I dread to think how high that'll get in the it's just the ridiculous amount of time it's taken me to get anywhere. We circumnavigate the globe first, though. Some very tasty era score we got from doing that. Beautiful. Rumor has it that Akkad has just declared war on Germany. What's going on here? I don't know, but I'm going to yes say yes to this aid request. I'd love to be involved in one of those. Which color is it? It is... Oh, light gray. Uh, all right, that aid request may not be particularly handy for us, but <laughs> we're involved in it, and that's what matters. Divine right. Celestial navigation. Lots of extra fun boosts, and oh, Oh, my great general is finally almost here. Not quite there, but almost. What would help in my war effort? Berserkers. Definitely berserkers. 10 combat strength when attacking, extra movement. I think a berserker, is, it was it was built to liberate, right? That's that's what we're for. Not, not for raiding, for liberating. Oh, hello. What's just happened here? What's just happened here? Germany has just declared war against a CAD. Which Germany? And why? Two Germanys are now at war. Is it because there's some sort of huge Germany on Germany war going on here? Yeah, one Germany is still at war with another one, but I think it's orange and gray. But they're now both at war with a CAD. I don't like that. I want to keep a CAD safe. We're going to have to do something. Something about that at some point. I don't know what, what we can do. Maybe we'll just move some units in and we'll just be really annoying. <laughs> 
Is that a, is that a military tactic? Just stand there and be really annoying? I, I think it is, you know. Oh, this city's now up to 37 strength. Could you stop it? Please, could you just chill out a little bit? Right, this is the Germany that I want to declare war on. We're going to just declare war on them? Yes, I know. I know. I know. And then we're going to go and see if we can find whoever it is that knows them, which is always relatively entertaining. There you are. Come on, join in on this war. You know you want to. Yes, they do. Germany on Germany on Germany. How? If this is really, really easy to follow what's going on. Come on. Perfect. Right. This Germany is at war with every other form of Germany that they know. We've brought in the battering ram. We have the man at arms. We have this here. And most importantly, we have our general. Now we're at war. I can get candy to declare war and levy at the same time, which gives me two era score. Era score is going to be really, really difficult to get. So we want to see as much of that as we can. Here is another lumber mill. We're making a few of these now. The shrine is finished. Let's get the stave church going. I mean, there's a lot of bonus production on the table from this one. My mission, should I choose to accept it, is just to be really annoying. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna do as much pillaging as we can get away with here speaking of let's unlock the raid card before we forget and is it worth changing governments at this point to get plus four i think it probably is you know yeah oligarchy time let's do it oh it's such a worse government for me we'll have to just chain diplomatic league in and out as we need it we've got scripture yeah this is a terrible government for me really bad maritime industries we'll just build a bit of a navy and go maneuver to get some raiding units in. And finally, I will keep the settler card in because spamming settlers right now is just a wonderful thing. But this plus four gives me just a little bit of combat strength. And I'm hoping this will be enough just to take Taruga before they can do anything about it. That's the main thing. Ah, oh, now Germany's are denouncing me. Just, just hold off a second. I know that there's grievances. I know there's grievances, but you will see. The grievances are for a reason, you know? They're not pointless grievances. These are grievances of, of liberation. Bam, military training boost that's really handy mathematics boosted feudalism boosted it's all boosted liberate back into the game remove all of the grievances you see you see there's a reason i did this and there's another city state back into the game we've rescued a point ladies and gentlemen we're gonna make peace as soon as we can but in the meantime i say let's go pillage yeah you see you do like me they're starting to realize the ai is beginning to realize once again that they really do like me i need a cad on side though how are we going to do this in a way that gets me a cad how's the religion going here i reckon a single missionary would probably steal this city state so let's send a single missionary over five charges which is speaking of there are a couple that need this to happen as part of a quest our ma is one of them atusa is another one atusa is going to be more of a problem i'll go for one apostle there and we'll go for one missionary now missionary can make its way over no problem the apostle i'm just going to see what sort of promotions we have if we get debater i'm going to spread the religion by destroying germany's and by germany's i mean yes it was this auckland oh that's a good one that's a good city state okay right we'll we'll hang on hang on for a second auckland i think is going to be someone we really do want to take control of god what promotions have you got spread religion two extra times three extra spreads when moving adjacent to a natural wonder operates as a medic and none of those are particularly good but there is a wonder around i found it yeah i have the sahara so what do we reckon i reckon we go and do i have the uh, sahara yep okay pilgrim we'll see you over we'll pick up this buff and we'll go from there Alrighty, let's charge in and see what we can do maritime industries is not very helpful but raid is a good card so we're gonna stand on their tiles and just i don't know what's the best way of putting this look just look and pillage until we can declare peace taruga is safe for now i reckon it could be more safe i reckon the safety level could be increased oh that's not good preslav has declared war on me just as my archer was uh, exploring the area and that is a really bad cliff. I cannot escape. Oh no, run away. Oh, I was a level two and everything. Oh, salute our fallen warrior. That's terrible. There we go, eight charges. Now off to Hattusa we go. Okay, right now, this is a problem. A cad, no, 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 don't fall. Don't fall now, I need these units. I really need these units. Machinery, we need to get this back. We're gonna have to go to war with this other Germany and I really don't wanna do that. What choice do I have? I can't bring these man-at-arms up anytime 
anytime soon. They're way too far away. They're getting me a lot of decent pillaging. Yes, lovely, but they're too far away to do anything like that. One, two, three, walls are down. Remember, if I take cities, I have to give them back at the end of the war. I can't keep them. Those are the rules. What rules, you say? My rules. Just is. Just is. It's what, it's what happens. It's what we do. A cat has been defeated. Oh no, it's gone. It's gone. All right. I was one turn off being able to convert it to my religion, and I had enough envoys there to then take it over, levy it, and then declare war. That's frustrating, but it's okay. We're gonna have to just come up with a better plan, a different plan. That is city number six, by the way. We are still settling. Might be settling in what I would call our own sweet time, but we very much are doing it. That's gonna be a good holy site when it's finished. And I'm sorry, what is this? No, 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 no. Don't make me spend all of my faith. I do not want to be doing this, but I will. City's mine. Ha 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 ha. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? I'm gonna lose it anyway. Well, I'm weakening them. At any rate, <laughs> I guess that's fair. Thing is, I don't need to keep these troops alive. That's what you gotta remember. These these troops are not mine. These cities are not mine. I'm just gonna harvest whatever I can from the land, and we're gonna move on. That settler should be mine, though. I would love that. Can we can we take this settler? That's that's fair game. That settler is what I would call loot. Uh, the apostle. Oh, it's just useless. I, I want to launch an inquisition. But there's no apostle promotion that's going to be very handy here. I guess it does have a decent promotion in that it's triple strength. I could convert barbarians. I could get martyr. Hmm. No, I'm just going to use it defensively. Oh, Pingala, finally. Promote yourself, you lazy chicken. My capital is going to build a commercial hub. Again, different types of district. That's what we're looking for here. Somebody wanted... Oh no, hang on. There was an encampment we needed at some point, wasn't it? Auckland wants a quadrim. That's pretty easy to do. Settlers, we do need to be doing that, but Diplomatic League, get in here briefly. I have some envoys I want to dish out. Let's try and get Auckland on side. Let's try and get Amar on side. All of this pillaged gold is delightful though. Everything to me, please. Thank you so much. We've been starting to steal some delicious science now. 118. That's about three and a half turns Worth. That's very effective. Excellent. Well, in that case, we can upgrade crossbow, crossbow. How much damage are you going to do against that city? Not a lot. <laughs> Okay, we need a harder hitter than that. Yeah, we're going to go for Berserkers now. I've got a Warrior or two in my land. I could probably pump another couple out. We'll go for the Berserker upgrade, which is only 10 iron. And we'll go and see if we can take back a CAD in some frenzied war rush. Cardiff. They also want religious conversion. Oh, everyone wants religious conversion. Fine. You can have some religion. You can have some religion. Nuremberg is flipped, but in the wise words of Ursa, not my problem. Not my problem. What I'm doing is simple pillaging. Pillage, pillage, pillage and getting some delicious, beautiful yields from taking kills with levied units. What more do you need in life? I don't know. You don't know. Nobody truly knows. Pingala, researcher, lovely. Bit of extra of that, bit of extra of this. We're not going to get a kill with a spearman. I'm just going to rush straight through it. As I say, these are all just Jerusalem's troops. I don't really care about them surviving this particular engagement. <laughs> they probably won't. Let's hope that one missionary is all we need to take over our mind. Arr, but I think it is. We lost one of our man at arms. <laughs> We're turning into a pirate. It's pirate day. I don't know why, but that's all fine. Okay, this, this levied army, it's, its only mission is just to get yields for me and combat kills like that. Beautiful things that we can use to sustain and grow our empire. There's military tactics. CAD is, uh, it's built its wall pretty quickly. It knows exactly what I'm like, <laughs> but don't worry. I think we'll be fine. I think we'll be fine. They're now willing to make peace. They're going to give me luxuries and things. That's good. But I haven't quite finished my pillage. I'm getting a lot of stuff there. As I say, they, they managed to make them lose the city-state. And they're going to have to take ages to get their city back here. So I think in terms of delaying Germany and just being an absolute nuisance, I, I very much have hit the nuisance card here, which I do enjoy. Oh, even more faith. That's even better. Before I take peace, I am going to take that settler vote. That would be very handy if I could pick that one up. Oh, and look. Berserker number one. And... And Berserker number two. Amazing. These things will be able to hit pretty hard against a CAD. 62 strength. I'll take that. All I need to do is bring my great general back quickly. So I'm going to get her killed by moving her right next to both a three city unit and a German unit. And one of them will take the bait and attack me. Probably. Hanjadaro. Another city state. This one has not been taken by anybody. Interesting. Hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. I just saw. I just saw Germany has declared war against Hattusa. No, no, no. 
no, 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 don't like that. This is what I mean about Germany. Not to be trusted. Right, hang on. There is, of course, this bell I hear, a protectorate war. We're going to declare that next turn, but oh, I don't like this. Stop killing all of my city-states. <laughs> It's like this is what the challenge was set up for, but I'm just gonna- I feel like I'm gonna be going left and right and left and right on this map, just putting fires out the entire time. Stop hitting each other. Stop hitting each other. That's- that's essentially what this is gonna be. Yep, Batusa's just taken a massive old hit here. Don't like that at all. Don't like that at all. And uh, Germany has muskets. That frightens me no end. But if we're gonna keep Batusa in this game, we're gonna have to do a couple of things. We're gonna have to denounce Germany, and we're gonna have to declare a protectorate war. Yeah, 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 I know. I know you're lying laughing at me. I know. It is what it is. There's the settler there. We are going to just do a little bit more pillage. I didn't get my great general moved, which is really, really frustrating, but this Germany, I reckon we can get a decent peace deal from. Do you want to just give me some dip play favor? 11 of it. Thank you. It just helps towards my win condition, and immediately I'm going to say, hey, do you want to join in my war? No, you're already in my war. That's cool. All right. Well, let's see what our berserkers can do. The answer is probably going to be not a lot, but if we can live liberate a CAD, then my word, our mission will be absolutely complete. The other thing we want to do is just see if we can kill this trebuchet quickly, but I'm going to try and kill this unit first. There we go, move you in. If we can keep a Tusa alive, this will be a minor miracle. <laughs> Because actually, I've just realized Jerusalem is now at war as well. So that's not good. Oh no, they're here countering my spread. No, <laughs> don't do that. I literally, all I need is it for the city state to flip briefly. And then I get my, oh, I get my points. Don't. They know what they're doing. They saw me do this and they were like, I'm just going to send something over immediately. Oh, okay. All these levied units are being killed. That crossbow just got killed in one hit. That's all good fun. Good fun, I say. So good fun. City state emergency yes i would love to add that as a proposal why did you not let me do that earlier berserker says bam let me in let me into this city i i want in i've taken nuremberg back again i'm going to liberate it to earn me some extra favor for the next congress but also because it removes grievances ultimately i'm world police that's that's my role here i just need to to play world police as best i can now i do have units these units are doing okay but we just need to take this nice and slow because the enemy has a lot of combat strength there. Tusa needs to stay alive as long as it can until reinforcements can arrive, probably from Auckland, actually. That's the likely place the reinforcements are coming from. I'm getting eight influence points per turn now. That's really handy. Ah, oh, Amar, I never actually converted. That's really annoying. My goodness, the action. The action is, is here. It's, it's everywhere. It's crazy. There we go. City state emergency. Yes. Give me this. I would love that to go through. Who are we voting against? Somebody with 50 diplo favor. So I'm going to put five votes in. It means that if I get 200 for succeeding in this... Oh, no! Oh, two of them voted against it. Damn, I was going to say I could actually still make a net profit, but never mind. I, I could have used the shared visibility there, but it's okay. Let's get that little pillage going, and then we'll go one attack there. Make another shot. Two attacks there. I can't, yeah, we're doing decent damage. I just need more army. We don't have anywhere near the, the level of forces I think we need. Ahanjadaro, please. Yes. Excellent. That's good. That's not where we needed to go, though. I got distracted. It was hard if I needed to go this whole time. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, send more missionaries. More missionaries with more charges. The city-states need converting. And in the meantime, there are so many resources that I can claim, especially if I settle on a different continent. I think down here is going to be brilliant. So on my way to this area, we go. Can't believe the AI voted that down. How dare they? Okay, yeah, they're doing decent damage to my berserker. Oh, no, that wasn't the berserker. They, they went round and attacked the crossbow. That's perfect. The berserkers need to stay alive at much greater a priority. We're building campuses. I mean, Nadia Risk is, is all brilliant and all but yeah crossbow if you just stay alive you will be the most annoying thing for the enemy ever you move to there and attack i reckon there is a small chance we may do this and that would be a minor miracle one attack and then unit kill oh yep 22 culture faith and science we're talking small amounts here but this is fine hatusa so far remaining safe safe and secure that's good because auckland's gonna get involved now bam oh look at that army oh yes please I will levy that. That is an amazing army to levy. All right. Okay, here we go. Oh, Berserker got hit a couple times, but it survived. And most importantly, it stood on a farm and has four movements. So I can pillage and then attack next turn, which is just the best. One attack and then two into a cad. Liberate it. Oh, why did you dump the unit out there? That's not fun. <laughs> 
that's not fun, but that's another city-state now on side, which is just delightful to see. Whether we can keep it alive, I don't know, but we'll we'll give it a good go. Well, it's turn 117, and whilst my stats are, quite frankly, rubbish, and whilst I'm really quite far behind, actually, no Germany is going crazy on science. That is the good thing. So it's a slow-burning game. 27 techs for the leader, 23 for me. Pillaging is keeping me in this game. Diplomatic game has barely started, but I've amalgamated 466 points. We've liberated one, two city-states, where are you know, a CAD and Taruga, and we've stopped Hattusa from being killed. If this isn't a good challenge, I don't know what is. Come on. I tell you what, this one barbarian galley has been a nightmare. Get off me. I'm trying to settle. So rude. So rude. I am aware that taking all of Auckland's army away may not be the best thing to do. I might just leave a couple of units back just to make sure they have something to defend, just in case Germany goes after them. You know, unlike this Germany, who may go after Zanzibar or Amar. The one cool revelation I've had is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. All 12 city-states have been met and are on the map. There you go, starting city-states, 12. No barb clans, no more are coming into this game. We have our 12 points. All we need now is a diplomatic victory. What am I on? One out of 20. <laughs> Excellent. All we need to do now, hopefully, is just try and keep all of our units alive. Did you just build, did someone just build Mahabadi Temple? I built 17 out of 20 turns into that thing. Oh my lord, that is rude. Fine. I'll pump out a settler, but that's annoying. <laughs> That's very annoying. How much do I get for killing a musket? 27 culture. I, I think this amount should be way, way higher. Varangian Harold should be up towards like 100 or even 200%. It's a very weird ability. Should be a lot higher. You can see what we're really going for at the moment though. Settler, 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 settler. I need to change my government around to make sure that we've got that sorted. I'm on six cities. We've got six, four, seven, seven, eight. I'm falling a little bit behind on that front. I think this game is going to be all about power projection, navy style. Look, Mahanjadaro, Cardiff, Armad, Zanzibar, Preslav, Hattusa, Auckland, and Muscat all readily available from this central sea. I've got to build up a navy, a very big, very scary navy, and have lots of settlements around. We have to UK this, we have to English empire this, make sure there is nowhere on the map that the AI can hide if they want to kill a city state. That's the idea anyway. Oh, Hattusa just got flipped. Oi, give that back. I That was giving me two strategics of nothing, but <laughs> I've lost the army. However, everyone has now made peace. Interesting. So actually, right now Hattusa is safe. I don't mind that. I might actually leave them alone. Even if I am not in charge of a city-state, as long as it can't get attacked, that's the main thing. So yeah, I think we'll, we'll hold on to this for now. In fact, I'm very tempted to peace out in four turns and just make good on this particular war. I could, in theory, use a Berserker Rush and start taking out encampments and things like that and try and take over a couple of cities and do some pillaging. I may still try and do that, but it's not essential. What's more essential is just keeping these city-states alive. Big old flood. Yeah, I probably should have seen that coming. We haven't invented dams yet. That could be a problem with trying to stop that one. Oh, the holy site got smashed a bit. Oopsie daisy. Two population lost. Ouch. I think that was actually, I think I lost two population down in Oslo, two population up in Skien. I lost four population that last turn just from natural design. Disasters. What a joy. What a joy it is sometimes to play Civ 6. Ah oh dear. Settler card is now back in my government and rather than making traders I'm gonna make settlers. I might as well do something in my cities that I've got a 50% bonus on production towards. I've unlocked alliances now but nobody likes me. The truth does indeed hurt sometimes. <laughs> it very much does. Which Germany is this one? I don't know. I, I, I kind of want to make friendships with people but I'm just aware that as soon as I do I'm going to get hit pretty badly because they'll just go and take my city-states and I won't be able to do anything about it because we're friends. Time to vote. We have huge amounts of diplo favor. We should be able to do this in a way that we should choose. Luckily, Urban Development Treaty always goes city center plus. That's nice. Put five votes into that one. But what do we want? Patronage. Normally it's admirals, isn't it? People generally ban admirals, but I reckon we could probably double this and pick them up. Yeah, let's force this through. I'm going to put nine votes in on this one. In fact, actually, how many votes would I have to take off? Okay, I can put three votes 
votes down there. 10 votes up here. Let's see if we can just shove this through. Yes, it worked. Banning admirals, banning admirals. Everyone else went for A. Two points from Congress. We've lost all of our diplo favor doing that, but that's okay. We'll get it all back eventually. This is city number seven, and it's on some D on a totally new continent as well, which is good for era score because we still need three. City number eight, Bergen. This is a point of the game that I've been fearing a little bit. Do you see this? Germany is now picking up bombards. Anything that is big and tough and scary can be used to destroy a city-state very quickly. Taruga is just, it's got no troops and it's being destroyed by a mountain. Don't worry about that. I'm sure it's fine. Oh, having had city-states liberated from them, that's a decent peace deal, you know? I'm going to take some duplicate luxuries just in case these come up good later, but yeah, go on, man. We'll make peace. We've got grievances are now whittling down. I reckon we can keep positive relations with people. That's peace with all Germanys, and hopefully we've now peace-locked okay, quite a few of these Germanys, yeah, away from a lot of the city-states, so we'll try that. We might as well take a little bit of time now to get all of these cheap city centre buildings. Monuments are very important when you have almost zero stats, like I do, and Auckland's units, well, they have arrived, ready to pillage, and, well, pillaging has stopped because I made peace. But they're here, ready for next time. There's a couple of gurus here with my apostle. One thing I would love to do is remove Catholicism. Now, this is going to be quite difficult, but I could, in theory, convert them to my religion, and that's just going to, well, doesn't really help me particularly, but it would be really funny. <laughs> So, is that a good excuse? Is that a good reason to do anything on this game? Probably is. In order to roll the medieval era engineers forward just a little bit before the end of the era. This is really weird, by the way. Germany has not built a single Hansa yet. What's going... I, I don't even know what's going on. This is a very strange game. But I will buy a Seador and hope Imhotep. Nah, no Imhotep. But that's okay. We can rush Mausoleum. Probably is the best idea here. And use some more engineers as we go. Rumor has it that Germany has just declared war on a CAD. Who? Is it you? I wish, I wish you could click on the picture and it would tell me which Germany has gone to war with a cat. I'm assuming it's this Germany. I think as long as I just keep all of my units in a really dodgy looking line here, like this. AI physically can't move their army in, so we might keep a CAD fairly safe, but if I need to come down here and pillage you again, I will do that. Don't threaten me with a good time like that, because I will. I will bring my army back down south and I will deal with you. Amar is now mine, converted to my religion. We're down to only three quests. Two, sir, I'm not going to be able to convert easily. Mahanja Dairo needs an artist. Jerusalem needs a writer. Both of those are expensive. We've done pretty good, I think, otherwise just moving things around. Don't forget, we get a lot of envoys whenever we convert someone to our religion for the first time. Oh, that's embarrassing. I sent over an apostle with barbarian conversion and a barbarian appeared from out of the fog of war and killed me. So I didn't get to convert it at all. What a noob. <laughs> I can't believe that. I've been chasing barbs down. I thought I was doing something really clever there. No, no, nothing about that was clever. That was really silly. <laughs> Never mind. Forms a fleet out of a naval unit. That's quite handy. We'll just wait on that one. Divine right. Monarchy. 50% extra influence points. That means we're now getting 15 per turn because don't forget, stave churches really help with that. There was an aid request. I'll be honest with you, I totally forgot about it because we were at war. We were minus 360. Whoops. I actually don't have that gold. So. <laughs> Oh man, I should have I should have saved. What a what a fool. All right. Well, we'll we'll have other chances to get a diplomacy score. I guess this just means we're going to be going later into this game. That'll be relatively amusing. Yeah, I don't need diplomatic league anymore, but charismatic leader, two extra points per turn. That will get 50% increased. We'll be on 18 influence points per turn. We're getting two envoys every eight turns or so. That's not bad. Could be better, but it's not bad. Gothic architecture. Raid don't need any more conscription is useless. It won't get me anything, but limes will. Scripture will, colonization will, and equestrian orders. I think that will be handy because we'll be able to sell all of our sources of horses to the LA. Yeah, but look at that. The AI really wants this sort of thing. Just pick up the occasional little bit of extra diplo favor, fill up our coffers accordingly. Where do we go next? I think governors, envoys, all of this stuff is pretty handy, but I do want to be getting on to some of the later civics fairly quickly. Diplomatic service might be good. Trade routes to city-states, Vissel Banken. Let's try and do that, and I'm going to be exploring 
exploring the map with an admiral because as we all know great people make the best scouts right a sea door bam mausoleum will finish after that then i can use two of these charges to finish up something like i think kilwa would be good in this particular scenario especially because i can actually get kilwa in my capital on this rainforest which would be awesome okay yeah germany just stood there with trebuchets trying to do damage to me fine education universities again amazing considering i've got plus four science on universities at the moment having a strong city-state network it will very much help me here and this is city number nine next to gobastan and yes i have seen the fact that i can do a triple preserve around it yes i will be trying of course i will don't worry i wasn't going to not do it it's just a matter of timing you know i do always love on challenges such as this where you have multiple of the same type of person on a map oh just a burrowed galley doing lots of uh, fun things for me there you can see cities like new york are being founded because we're out of german cities hang on are you at war with taruga what's going on here no one says they're at war i am i am watching me city states like a hawk like every turn is a matter of having to go through everything and be like who's at war who's not at war what's what's going on we're okay most of these are pretty chill at the moment but honestly the cad still gives me slight worries but my army is there and muscat is at war technically as well and i have no visibility over what's going on down there and preslav but preslav's a little further away from everything that's fine as we go into a new era we look at the continent split and we realize that everything useful is on our continent which is really annoying maybe down here a little bit so maybe hexong draconas isn't what it's cracked up to be monumentality is always fun just to settle out a little bit more and exodus of course means i can use my religion a bit more but i've kind of used my religion as much as i'm going to right now reformer coinage will be useful when i actually get myself in action and start actually building traders i think we need coverage right we need coverage and i need big cities quickly i will go hicksonk draconas i'm gonna look to like areas like this down here that can support multiple cities and we're gonna just build a bunch over in these areas like as quickly as we can look you can settle there there is water between you it's fine don't tell me off the things you can do have faith come on so there's at least three cities we can get out of that hicksonk uh, sunk the Connors and we've got settler 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 excellent now a new bunch of quests what's this one military engineering three want the boost for military engineering is that an aqueduct it is an aqueduct all right then well i mean force my hand why don't you we'll build that aqueduct there i'll just place that in now just so that i don't forget industrial zone and theater square trade route trebuchet guilds and medieval fairs medieval fairs is traders right always more traders needed it's not a bad assortment of quests actually who else is in a golden age oh great germany by me is gone heroic okay and light gray germany below me is now in a dark age maybe we'll be able to steal new york here we keep oslo's population growing a little bit german empire has declared war against taruga uh no another aid request this time i will keep an eye on this we'll see if we can win it three of us have gone in and i think it's the blue oh god it's so hard to tell it's so hard to tell is this the blue germany i think this is the blue germany you know it's the closest color i'll give them one gold and just we'll test it next turn and see if that worked because i i don't know taruga i believe is screwed because it still has no army from last time ah okay that's really really annoying fine we're gonna have to bring our berserkers down and we're gonna have to go and liberate this again aren't we i need more of a standing army we need an absolute mechanized force to just go and take on places like this yeah i'm gonna leave a cad alone a little bit here i don't want to leave you completely alone i'm gonna leave like enough units just to make it awkward but we're gonna have to start building units pretty quickly now candy is already levied is it no 40 gold where's candy's unit over here no there all right fine taruga still has no units jerusalem i can levy again gives me a couple more options we'll see what we can do but i mean the city is so weak it just hasn't bothered to make any units since i liberated it and that's the big problem city number 10 oh yeah i'm sacrificing some of these tiles around gobastan to make some good holy sites but it's the gobastan tiles themselves those are the ones my preserves really care about mausoleum at halicarnassus one science one faith one culture on all coast tiles for this city engineers have an additional charge that means i can now put two seador charges into kilwa oh kilwa 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 that would be a good wonder i mean apadana would also be quite a good wonder in my capital do i go apadana and then kilwa or do i rush kilwa first and just lose two envoys i think apadana is less useful than kilwa so i'm gonna take the risk i'm gonna take the risk and just plonk kilwa straight in i know we're losing 
using a rainforest tile. I know we should probably have waited, but it's fine. Bam. Yeah, let's just not mess around. I just feel like if I missed out on Kilwa, I'd be so annoyed at myself. Was that the right Germany, by the way? It was. So it's blue Germany is the one we need to keep an eye on, but oh, you. Orange. I'm currently trading some luxuries with you. You're an autocracy. You're not being very nice. 455 military strength is, is pretty huge. We're just going to have to do this. We're going to denounce them. Protectorate war. You come after a city state. I am coming after you. And then we go around every other Germany and we're like, hey, you want to join in? You know you want to join in with my protectorate war. Oh, that's pretty cheap. The more people that get involved, the better. All right. We couldn't get that many people in. I think there might be a little bit of peace lock going on here but never mind they got kicked out of taruga's borders and my units are now nearby enough that i think i can cause them a little bit of problem i'm gonna leave a couple of units around and i'm gonna leave a couple of builders around just to make sure they can't get into a cad because don't forget gray germany is still going after a cad but just a couple of units will stop them moving around anywhere near as freely as they would like that's what we're hoping anyway that's what we're hoping city number 11 in the north a sprawling empire of course. Sprawlingly brilliant. Oh, I'm going to take over Zanzibar for cinnamon and cloves. I'm happy again. Temporarily. Yay. <laughs> the respite from the crippling unhappiness lasts but a minute, but it's a grateful minute. Go on, get the kill. You know you want to. Yeah. Yields. That's what we're after. Yields. Just hang in there, Taruga. I'm on my way. I'm on my way as quickly as we can get there. It's just, ah, oh, it's just taking forever. Taruga has been conquered. No, okay. Okay. Alrighty. We'll see how we uh, feel about that in a second. Don't don't you worry. Munich, by the way, this is a three city. It's about to flip to orange Germany. I don't like that at all. So I think we might do what I like to call borrow it. Man at arms attacks once. Berserker attacks a second time. And then we go three times. We should take it next turn. This gives me some time to just chase down a couple of these troops over here. We're going we're gonna to do what we can to take Taruga back because we've lost lost a point. We're down to 11 points and I, I can't stand that. And finally a very special shout out goes to Glorious Petra, Matthew Wilkinson, Paul Coffey, Portland, Clint Hennis, Scott Stratton, Major King Kong, Skeptical Bear, Cinnamon Beard, Petra Ryan, Radio Torre, Private Selection, Genoa Salami, Callum Billy, Garrett Gowan, Polar Bear Ray, El Truant, Creston, RB Hedged, Mushkin Mandeltort, Diebel Time, Burial, I'm Daft, Gooberman, Dr. Bobby, Polar Waller Bear, Mixamatosis, NTG Golfman, Victor McPupster, Indigenous 68, Technology Poet, Teddy Zursa, Zaf, Barnaby Rex, Sharky Bates, Charlie Bears, I Love You Tombo, Flying Dutch Burbs. Thank you everyone for your support. See you all in the next video. Goodbye.